Let's now discuss a problem in probability theory. Two dice are thrown. That is, the random experiment here is throwing two six-faced dice. Let A be given that the sum of the points on the faces is odd and B be given that at least one face shows one. And we have to find these probabilities. Let's now proceed with the solution. We know all these simple theorems as we have discussed in the previous videos. So the first step is to write these theorems. We know that when two dice are thrown, this is the sample space and there are 36 possible outcomes. So, in order to find these probabilities, the first step is to find probability of A, probability of B, probability of A union B and probability of A intersection B. Given that A is the event that the sum of the points on the top faces is odd. That is, when two dice are thrown, A is the event of getting the sum of the numbers on the top faces as an odd number. Let's now find the possibilities for the event A. So here event A can take the sum as 3, 5, 7, 9 or 11. As we know that the minimum sum obtained in throwing two dice is 2 and the maximum sum is 12. Maximum sum occurs at 6, 6 which is 12. So the possibilities for the event A will be So to get sum 3, we might have the possibilities 1, 2 or 2, 1. And to get the sum 5, we have the possibilities 1, 4, 2, 3. 3, 2 and then 4, 1. Now to get the total 7, the possibilities will be 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, and then 6, 1. Now, to get some 9, we have 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 4, and then 6, Three. And finally, to get the total 11, we have two possibilities, namely 5,6 and 6,5. Therefore, probability of A is equal to 
n of a by n of s. n of a denotes number of elements in a, which is 18 by n of s denotes number of elements in the sample space, which is 36. So that probability of a is 1 by 2. Let's now proceed with the event B. We are given that event B denotes the event of getting at least one phase shows number 1. That is, B is the event of getting at least one of the numbers on the top faces as 1. So either the first die should show a number 1 or the second die should show the number 1. So that the possibilities for B can be written as one 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 two one three one four one five one six and two one three one four one five one and finally we have six comma one hence probability of b will be n of b by n of s will give you eleven by thirty six let's now proceed with a union b and then find probability of A union B, which is 23 by 36. The next step is to find A intersection B, number of elements in A intersection B. And then find probability of A intersection B, which is 6 by 36 or 1 by 6. So using these values, let's now proceed with the required probabilities. First subdivision, probability of A bar union B bar is equal to probability of A intersection B whole bar, which is 1 minus probability of A intersection B. Therefore, we have 1 minus probability of A intersection B is 1 by 6. So that we get the answer as 5 by 6. The second subdivision probability of A bar intersection B bar which is nothing but 1 minus probability of A union B. So here we have 1 minus A union B is 23 by 36. Simplifying we get the answer as 13 by 36. Third subdivision, probability of A intersection B bar is equal to probability of A minus probability of A intersection B. So probability of A is 18 by 36 minus probability of A intersection B is 6 by 36. Therefore, we get the answer as 12 by 36 otherwise 1 by 3. Fourth subdivision, probability of A bar intersection B is probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Probability of B is 11 by 36 minus probability of A intersection B is 6 by 36 which is 5 by 36. Now probability of A intersection B bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A intersection B, which is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 6, which is equal to 5 by 6. And the last subdivision, probability of A union B whole bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A union B, which is 1 minus 23 by 36, which will give you 
13 by 36.